few years ago it was India everywhere here in Davos but over the last few years policy paralysis slowdown in decision making uh, a complete uh, knockdown of our overall growth rates uh, as well as concerns over corruption and a string of scams seem to have become the dominant worries with regard to the Indian economy so is India's global relevance diminishing that's our special panel discussion from here in Davos let me introduce our guests on the show today we've got Sandeep Nayak MD and head India operations of General Atlantic Naina Lal Kidwai a country head HSBC India and of course director HSBC Asia Pacific and someone who's also wearing another hat these days as president of Fiki and Mr. CP Gurnani MD of uh, Tech Mahindra thank you all for being with us here on the show uh, Ms. Kidwai let me start by asking you has the India story taken a beating? Well, if you look at the fact that the delegation here is still the second largest, I believe, after the US. Right. And the fact that uh, I've been in sessions this morning, really, uh, both in, of which, one was on the energy context, where India's uh, increasing demand of energy, and as you well know, it's such a big part of our energy bill, uh, clearly is about India's relevance in the energy play. And the second one, which was really quite gratifying, which was to do about the evolving nature of business, where uh, Tata was mentioned as a, a responsible corporate player sure. by uh, a totally non-Indian panel, uh, tells me that maybe there are bits of India's messaging that have actually got embedded in what is Davos. So that is good. If India were indeed to have been on the progressive path we were uh, two years ago, I'm sure that it would be a lot more upbeat. We, right. we do have a smattering of presence and panels, but it is by no means what it has been in the past. Is that an indication of India's relevance going down? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, because even if you pick up the news of, say, IKEA, even today, uh, he's talking about bureaucratic problems and hurdles in Europe and uh, the excitement about India, and he said sure. it from India. So for corporates, Indi the India story has not gone away. Have we made it more difficult for corporates to operate? Unfortunately, yes. Can we still turn that back to the go-go years of two years ago? I believe we can. But we are exactly at that point where it would be a shame if we missed the bus. I think Davos for us becomes an opportunity to make sure that India is not forgotten. And for those of us who are here to keep the India story going. And I can tell you certainly with the calendar of meetings I have, and I'm sure that's true of uh, both uh, the panelists here today, right. uh, that there is a desire uh, to engage. They want People want to know about India. The important thing is, for the first time, there's also a question now about, well, are things really on track? Are and things really on track? That's that's the critical question. Yeah. I think you've been very fair in your analysis, and, and that's a question I'd like Sandeep to actually answer. Are things on track, as, as Nena is putting it, and have we missed the bus already? You know, the question on whether India is relevant or not is a very relative question, because right. when you look at the global context, you have to look at India and look at some of the other economies, and then put that question saying, is it still relevant? Right. If you look at what we have been able to achieve, I would say in spite of the government over the last year, of inching towards more than 5% GDP growth and hoping that goes to 6.5%. I think we are doing okay. There are not many economies globally that are doing much better than us. So would money still come back into India? I'm absolutely positive. What Nena said, is the India relevance lower this time at Davos? Not really. But I've been here for the last three years and we had a, we had a great campaign splashed all over Davos called the Incredible India Campaign. Yeah. Right. And I keep telling people, we don't need an Incredible India story. We okay. just need a credible India story. Yeah. Well said. People, well said. people right. are sold on India. Yeah. What we yeah. need to decide is what are we going to grow up as? Yeah. Right. People have an image of us, and the question is can we fit that image and can we grow up to be that person? India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view. Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.